Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a simple camel route and deploy it in Apache Service Mix. Now I'm going to assume that you already have Service Mix installed, uh, but if you don't, then you can head on over to servicemix at apache.org and download the latest release and then extract it somewhere on your PC. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and start Service Mix. I have it here in Apache Service Mix on my Mac. Um, we start the server by running the service mix script, which is located in the bin directory. So we do bin slash service mix here. Just wait for it to load. Now, once the server is started, I'm just going to check that I have no camel routes currently running. And to do that, we can use the camel commands which come with service mix. So you type camel colon and then press tab to see all the commands available. I want camel root list, which shows all my routes that are deployed. And as you can see, it returns nothing. So no routes are deployed, so I'm good to go. Um, now, just before I go ahead and create the camel route, I'm going to get service mix to show the log. Um, the reason I'm going to do this is because it's going to be helpful um, to be able to see when the route is deployed. Uh, and to do that, the command is just log tail. And now we see the service mix log. Um, and this is going to update in real time, just like the tail command in Linux. So this video is about hot deploying spring based camel routes into service mix um, and to do that we need to know exactly what a spring based camel route looks like and if you don't already know then the best place to probably get started with that is on the spring page on camel.apache.org and this page is really useful to tell you how you can use spring to declare your camel context and how to write your routes in XML. I'm going to start my route by grabbing this little um, snippet of code here, which shows me what my XML root element is meant to look like. And this, this saves quite a bit of typing here, so, so I'm going to grab this here. I'm going to paste it into my editor, um, and I'm just going to start writing a simple camel route here. Um, I start with the camel context element, which you always need to start with, and then I declare a route inside that, and my route is just going to be a really simple timer that runs every five seconds. I'm going to set the message body to hello world, and then just log that out. Um, and that will be logged out to the console in service mix. Uh, now that's done, I'm just going to save my route in camelcontext.xml. The way we're going to deploy into service mix is really simple. Because we've just defined our camel route in a single XML file, um, we can just copy that file straight into service mix's deploy folder. And that will automatically start the camel route for us and we can hopefully see the logs coming out we can make sure everything's looking okay so so here on the left I have my camel context that I just created and on the right I have the service mix folder uh, I'm going to go into service mixers deploy folder which is just uh, one level underneath all I do is copy the camel context file across to the deploy folder and now let's go back to service mix and take a look and see what it's doing and what you can see is it says Apache Camel started in half a second and now my route is being run and so every five seconds I'm getting a message hello world written to the log which is what my camel route is meant to do. So this, this shows that we, we've got the camel route up and running. If we wanted to confirm that another way what I can do is control C to exit that log tail and now if I run the same command that I ran before, which is camel root list, there you can see, there it is, root uptime 35 seconds. So now let's say I want to undeploy this route from service mix, and, and that's pretty easy as well. All I have to do is just delete it from the deploy folder. So first I'm going to find the XML file in the deploy folder, and uh, I just select the file and hit delete, uh, or however you, you normally prefer to delete files. Now if we go back to the log file, we can see it says camel root shut down in 0 0.016 seconds. Um, and if I run the same root list command again, you can see no routes are deployed. So we're back to the starting state, which is great. And that is how you use hot deployment to deploy a spring XML camel root into Apache service mix. Thanks for watching.